Hey, what's up guys, and today we've got a really well-made app meant to improve your health. Now, I really dislike drinking water, and I'm sure the same can be said for a lot of you out there, but all of us know it's really important to stay well hydrated, so what is one to do? Well, like I do for most of my problems, I turn to my phone for support, and that is where Waterminder comes into play. So right when you launch into the app, you'll have a very large person in the middle of the screen. Now, you can customize how you look, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Right below that, there's a plus, and if you tap that, it'll show you your three presets. Again, more on that in just a bit. You can tap the button to its right to get more options as to what you've had to drink, and that's not just for size, but also different types of beverages. Now, one of the problems I see is that you get an equal amount added to your daily hydration level, whether you have a glass of water or a glass of soda. Now, obviously, you're drinking the same amount of liquid, but water will provide significantly better hydration, so you'll have to keep that in mind yourself. It's not that most people don't understand, but it'd just be kind of nice if it helped keep track of it for you. So you'll see you have a little bar at the bottom that'll show you how much you have had to drink for the day, and of course you can tell by how full your person is in the middle. And then at the top you can see the date and time, and also share your progress on Facebook and Twitter, because, you know, your friends need that information. Moving on to the second tab, you'll be able to see your history. So not only a list of what you've had to drink, but also your progress over a specific period of time, i.e. days, weeks, months, and years. Next up is the achievement tab, because everything has to have achievements now, and as you can see, I'm not doing too hot yet, but we are getting there. Now in settings, you can adjust your profile accordingly, and this is also where you'll change your avatar thing. At the bottom, you can set whatever goal you want, although it will give you a number based on what you entered above. Now jumping back, you have quite a few options for notifications. You can adjust when and how many reminders you get, and also you can just turn them off entirely. You can adjust the sound the notification makes and also toggle off and on whether or not you get a notification when you receive an achievement. Below that, you can change the size of the three default glass sizes and also add more with the plus to the right of it. Below that, we get a few other options, but the ones I'm particularly interested in are the ability to customize your Apple Watch layout, so you can basically change what it'll look like when you open the app on your Apple Watch, and also the ability for it to sync with the Apple Health app. So if you turn on syncing, it'll import all of your beverage consumption data into the Health app automatically if that's something that's useful to you. Also, you can hook this up to your Fitbit account if you can make use of that as well. So all that being said, there really isn't much of a reason to open this app on a regular basis because it does come with an incredibly useful widget that lets you log your drinks. So it's really simple. Basically, you can see your glass sizes that you set up earlier in the app and just tap one of them to log whatever you've consumed. It won't open the app at all. It'll just work right within the widget panel and it'll also show your progress for the day. So all in all, it's a pretty simple app with a pretty simple goal, but it does a really incredible job at what it does. I haven't noticed any sort of bugs or slowdown, and it runs really smoothly. For me, an app that utilizes the latest technology built into the Apple ecosystem offers a much better experience. For example, having an Apple Watch app and working with the Apple Health app is a big deal for some people. Personally, I really appreciate the widget that makes it a lot faster to use and also how great the interface looks. So I definitely give it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's really useful and works really well. But anyways, guys, thank you for bearing through my voice, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing, as it really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. I post new videos every single Sunday, so I'd definitely like to see you back next week. But until then...